A common size income statement expresses each item on the income statement as a percentage of sales or total revenue. This allows you to analyze changes in a company's cost structure over time. For example, we can see that Amazon's G&A expense was consistently around 1.9% of net sales from 2018 to 2021. This means that 1.9 cents of every sales dollar went to G&A expense. Now, the common size income statement also shows you a company's margins, how much of every sales dollar became profit. In 2021, every dollar of net sales for Amazon generated 5.3 cents of operating income. The common size income statement is also helpful in spotting significant fluctuations in a company's income statement items over time. With Amazon, we see that non-operating revenue is typically a very small percentage of Amazon's total net sales. But in 2021, it jumped to 3.1%. This is because Amazon recognized an $11.8 billion gain on its investment in Rivian when the company went public. But a common size income statement is not just used to assess a company's performance over time. It's also used to assess performance between companies. Scaling each line item by total sales is very helpful when comparing companies that report financial statements using different financial currencies or when comparing companies that are of very different sizes. For example, let's compare Amazon's marketing costs to those of Netflix. Amazon spent a lot more than Netflix on marketing in 2021. $32.5 billion for Amazon compared to just $2.5 billion for Netflix. But Amazon's net sales were 15 times larger than Netflix's revenues in 2021. Amazon is a lot larger company than Netflix, thus we would expect Amazon to spend more on marketing than Netflix does. But when we look at marketing costs as a percentage of sales, Amazon actually spent a lot less than Netflix in 2021. 6.9% for Amazon compared to 8.6% for Netflix. We see the same pattern when it comes to general and administrative expense. Amazon spent a lot more than Netflix in terms of total dollar amount, but it spent less than Netflix as a percentage of sales. Thus, Amazon spends a lot less of every sales dollar on marketing, general, and administrative costs than Netflix does. And yet, Netflix had a lot higher operating margin than Amazon. How was this possible? Amazon has a significant operating expense that Netflix does not have, fulfillment costs. Fulfillment costs were 16% of Amazon's net sales in 2021. So you can see how a common size income statement is a great tool for seeing how a company manages its costs, both over time and in comparison to its peers. But you need to be careful when interpreting a common size income statement. And this is because the line items aren't independent from one another. Here's what I mean by that. A cost might increase on an absolute basis, but decrease as a percentage of sales. For example, Netflix's marketing costs increased by $300 million from 2020 to 2021. Yet Netflix's marketing costs as a percentage of revenue decreased over the same time period. The explanation? While Netflix's marketing costs increased, they increased at a slower rate than Netflix's revenue. Thus, Netflix spent more on marketing, but marketing came down as a percentage of revenue. Alternatively, you could have a situation where a cost remains constant. It's a fixed cost, but the cost comes down as a percentage of sales because the company's sales increased. Remember, a common size income statement does not tell you whether a company's cost went up or down. It tells you the cost as a percentage of sales. Now, if you'd like to access the spreadsheet with the common size income statements that I use to make this video, there's a link in the description section below.